Welcome back. Markets will open in the next uh, 20 minutes or so, the pre-opening that is. And we should be flattish uh, if the SGX Nifty is to be believed. T. Thankar Patnak of Rally Gear Capital Markets has joined in now. T. Thankar, good morning. Uh, last few days have not been too bad because of the fall in commodities. But generally, how are you feeling uh, about the global environment and how that might lead India over the next few days and weeks? Well, uh, then the sharp fall in commodities over the last couple of uh, weeks, especially, has given us a lot of heart. I must say, you know, one major concern that we had on the macro was essentially how India is going to deal with, uh, you know, high commodity prices going forward. So, current account and growth were our big concerns. While concerns on growth remain for now, and uh, you know, we for one believe that FY14 growth is likely to, you know, surprise us on the negative side. It's going to be less than six percent. Our own estimate is about 5.8 percent. But uh, the sharp fall in commodities, crude especially over the last couple of weeks, has uh, given us cause for cheer. India's current account deficit numbers would come down and that uh, really removes one of the key hurdles that India has for the markets actually going forward. So yes, uh, fairly confident on India in terms of crude. Uh, on global growth, what uh, crude is also factoring in is that uh, global growth is likely to surprise on the downside. For the US, the IMF recently revised their numbers downwards. They revised that for India as well. But uh, one trend that we have been seeing over the last couple of years has been that we begin every year with a decent forecast on growth only to revise it downwards uh, for major reasons as uh, uh, as you know, visibility gets clearer and we believe this year might be no different that way. So we are concerned on global numbers, frankly. Tishankar, hi, morning. What do you hear from your institutional team when you speak with them in terms of whether people are now tactically bracing for a, a leg down on the markets because of this crack in commodities, the nervousness in Europe? Uh, do they foresee a sharp outflow situation or the market coming off? Uh, unlikely. What uh, typically one would expect from a sharp fall in commodities is that you know the risk of sentiment should have panned out negatively for India as well, given it's part of the emerging markets basket. But uh, what you saw over the last couple of days is that Indian markets had cracked earlier, and therefore we did not really see the big uh, dip, you know, frankly coming in. Last couple of days have been fairly positive for India, and uh, what we're seeing is you know we may, might not frankly see that uh, initial dip. So investors, in other words would uh, would give more weightage to India's improving macro fundamentals given the drop in commodities rather than the risk of sentiment actually on the margin. So what's the forecast for the market, Tankar? then? Uh, do you think the growth headwinds <coughs> coupled with the macro tailwinds on current account deficit now will sort of... <coughs> Excuse me, will sort of keep us in a range uh, over the next few quarters, next couple of quarters or do you see visible downside? My read is that we will remain in a range. That range, you know, you know, there's a fairly wide range of roughly 5,450 to about 6,050 on the Nifty. So we will remain in that particular range. We have been there for uh, you know quite some time now, and. Uh, Right now, uh, given these uh, improving macro fundamentals, we might see a leg up, but frankly at uh, about 6,000 odd levels, that's where the market again you know, comes back to the long term average and given India's growth trajectory uh, or its potential GDP growth is now lower than what we've been seeing over the last many, many years, uh, you know, about a decade or so, we will not expect the market to sustain that level. So, so I frankly do not see the market breaking out of that range um, in, the, in, the, in, the couple of, in the next couple of quarters at least. You're holding your buy on TCSC, Thanka. You like what you saw in the number? I think DCS numbers were uh, largely in line. The management, uh, you know, delivered what they uh, what they actually promised, and which is more than what could be said for something like Infi. Frankly, uh, they their commentary that FY14 would be a better year than FY13 was, you know, diametrically opposite to what Infi has been has been talking about. You know, a six to ten percent revenue growth. So to that extent, my understanding is that TCS does not disappoint. We do not believe at uh, 19 odd times, uh, you know, forward earnings there's a lot of upside so we look at around you know seven to eight percent upside on the stock but we will be holders on the stock in our model portfolio we have a you know a, an overweight on TCS we have an underweight on NV and uh, we see no reason to change that on the whole on the IT space we are neutral and we, we remain so like that at this point what about HCL take it Thangal because uh, while the initial reaction was good uh, the market seemed to be fretting about software services segment later in the day. But did you take away a note of caution from the numbers? 
Yes, uh, our analyst is fairly cautious on uh, SCM not being able to, frankly, maintain its current level of margins. So, you know, uh, we would be, you know, we have a hold on HCL at this point, and we would be sellers at any rise on HCL stock. At this point, in the IT space, frankly, uh, we have a large cap bias, large cap over mid caps. But in the large cap space, uh, you know, our packing order would be TCS than NP actually. Samas, the uh, bipolarity of this market has gotten corrected over the last few weeks, Tirthankar, in the sense FMCG is not as premium as it used to be, IT has corrected somewhat. Would you expect that to be the trend going into the next earnings season, that uh, there will be some convergence in terms of valuations? It should. Basically, we are negative uh, on consumption from a 12-month perspective. Consumption stocks have uh, really are factoring in uh, the levels of consumption that we've seen over the last three, four years to frankly continue over the next two years. And we do not see that happening. After three years of growth coming down from 9% levels to about 5% now, and uh, mind you, for the fourth quarter, we believe numbers could disappoint on the downside. We may not see you know 5% growth or 4.8% growth that the CSO has pointed out. We believe consumption is going to crack in India. Urban consumption especially is the one where you know government will not provide support. We will see rural uh, you know, consumption probably being supported by probably higher MSPs or uh, you know the food security bill if it comes in during the year. These are places where the government has left leg room to you know frankly uh, push in something before the elections. But on urban consumption frankly there is no give and we believe that anything lead, you know leading to urban consumption will will have to take pain and therefore on consumption in general and consumer staples in particular we remain negative. So yes, to answer your question, we will see convergence going forward. Tidakar, thanks for your views. Thanks for joining in uh, today. Uh, let's stay with the market though. Ten more minutes to go before the pre-opening. We've got Amit Trivedi uh, and Ambarish Baliga also joining in at this point. Gentlemen, good morning. Uh, 